So the apartment that I'm staying at, it's got a lot of really good things going for it, but there is a big negative as well. Sean here from the amazing country of Malaysia. Today we're in Kuala Lumpur and we're going to do an apartment tour. Let's do it. and embarked on full-time travel in 2022, armed with drones and cameras. I share my adventures as I travel across Southeast Asia. Venturing into the unknown has been both exhilarating and rewarding. To me, Southeast Asia is a gold mine of experiences. Rich in culture, amazing people, delicious food, and unforgettable adventures. And it's this very essence that I share with you. So pack your curiosity, buckle up, and subscribe to join me on my wild adventures through the amazing cities, unbelievable landscapes, and hidden gems of Southeast Asia. All right. So I'm currently in Malaysia. So you might be asking, what am I doing in Malaysia? I actually really enjoyed my time in Malaysia here last year. So last year we were here in July and obviously the food here is just delicious. It is an amazing country. I like Kuala Lumpur. It's a vibrant and modern city. And today I'm gonna to share with you this apartment tour so the apartment that I'm staying at, it's got a lot of really good things going for it, but there is a big negative as well that I didn't realize when I booked the place, but it is what it is. So let's go check out the room. The name of the place that we're staying is Est. It's right next to Bangsar Station in Brazil. So here we are, as you come in the door, as you can see, we've got the kitchen right here. We have a full size fridge, microwave, got the stove top, jug, coffee machine, cups, plates, got water filter as well, so that's really good. And then we've got dining table, which is four seater. So in the living area, we've got TV. The TV has a smart TV box as well. So you can play Netflix, YouTube, that kind of stuff. It's pretty good. Nice full-size couch, extra booth, and then another chair over here. And in the general living area as well, we also have some office space up here. So pretty nice. We've got the desk and chair. And this couch area as well works out pretty well. It's pretty good. Out 
here we have the balcony. So we've got the ironing board and a place to hang some clothes. And here we've got a washing machine as well. So this is the bedroom, big double sized bed, mirror unit, cupboard space, bedside table, pretty decent, massive view as well, really tall windows as you can see, high roofs in this building, and in here we have the bathroom. Pretty straightforward bathroom. You've got the common water heaters in Southeast Asia. And you've got your toilet, basin, mirror, everything that you need. So it does come with shampoo and shower gel. Electricity is included and also internet. The Wi-Fi speed here is pretty good. And you've got air conditioning in the room and in the living area as well. So all good. Lots of covered space as well. The building has a lot of other great features down on level 9, there's a pool, gym, games room and library. Let's go check them out. Alright, so here we have the games room. This is pretty cool. Comes with a foosball table. and. Table tennis. So, something for the adults and kids to play around, have a bit of fun. It's pretty good. And then here we've got the gym as well. So, the gym is actually really good. It's got all the bikes. So, you've got the treadmills here. And the steppers here as well and then you've got your weights over here and then down here you've got your exercise machines you've got shoulder press chest press abs and then on this side you've got all the different legs so leg extension leg curls and you've got your leg press here as well it's all pretty good you've got the lockers Pretty much everything that you want in a gym is here, which is really good on location, just on the ninth floor. And it's right next to the pool as well. It's after gym, you can go for a quick swim as well. All right, so here we are. This is the pool area. It's a pretty big sized pool, so plenty of opportunity to get laps in. Not a bad view of the city from up here as well.
And in here we have the library. Alright, so this is the library area. Pretty quiet in here. You've got couch area, table, chairs. It's not used very much. I often get down here and it's empty, so that's pretty cool. I'm surprised it doesn't get used more than what it does, but it's just how it is. It's actually not a bad place to get some work done. So as you can see, we're really close to the train station. We've even got a walk bridge that goes across there. We're one station from KL Central, two stations from Hataling Street or Pasarseni, which is where Chinatown is. And we're 11 minutes from KLCC. So right in amongst the city, right next to Petronas Towers. So you've got the pool, the gym, the games room and the library. So pretty much everything you want and need is available here. It's really good in that respect. We've got a washing machine, so we don't have to worry about washing our clothes. We've got the water filter, so we don't have to buy bottled water. And like everything's included. So we've got shampoo, shower gel, toilet paper, plus your internet and electricity. So you can't really ask for more. Alright, so at the beginning of the video, I did say that there was a big downside to staying here. And that is that this is actually a share place. I didn't realize when I booked it on Agoda, we did pay just under 650 US for the month here. But we are sharing with other travelers. So while it is a downside, the positive is, is that we do get to meet other travelers and spend some time with them as well. But I wasn't expecting it because I did book on Agoda. And that just sounds weird, right? Like, I understand you need to be looking for that when you are on Airbnb, but not when you're booking on a Goda. So that is one thing that I did get caught by. It was discounted, so I did think I was getting a good deal. I still think it's value for money, given the facilities, the pool is amazing. The gym is really good as well. Plus you've got the library and the games room. So overall, it's really good facilities. I do have the master bedroom with the private ensuite, so that makes it easier. At first, I was really disappointed, but after a couple of days and spending some time in the gym and the pool, I did feel a lot better about it. And the train station is literally just across the footbridge, and then you're one station away from KL Central, two to Chinatown, and 11 minutes from the city, and we're right next to Bricksfield, which is little India as well. So overall, it's a pretty good location. Also, if you're wondering how much it would cost to rent a full two bedroom unit here, it's around 1100 US dollars per month. I'm looking forward to exploring this amazing city and eating some delicious food. So I will be sharing that with you. If that sounds good to you, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss the next video. If you have subscribed already, you're awesome. You're the reason why I make these videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.